So today we're going to take a look at the exact rail thrall 54 foot coil shield coil car. And this is a Conrail. It's a nice red livery, which red's my favorite color, by the way. Here on the side, we got the Conrail logo, along with some loading specification, along with a NYC patch, which stands for New York Central, although I do like to think it's from New York City. Here on the side, we've got Conrail quality. You see some riveting detail, along with some nice metal frames all the way across, on the top, middle, and the bottom. Now, if we move our way to the other end, we have the air brake system, so it's all mounted on this end. You can see the air reservoir tank, the brake wheel, the coupler cut lever, and here's a bird's eye view just to give you a better shot of the layout. Now if you look at the other end of the car, it's pretty barren. There's not much to look at right there. And now we're going to rotate this thing so you guys can see what it looks like on the bottom, which is pretty much flat. It just has some lines going across. Got the walkways on the side, and here's a view of the top. Now here is a comparison of the two sides, which are pretty much identical. The only difference I could tell is which end the air brake system is. And here we can have a closer view of the running boards, which are made of etched metal, and the ends are actually angled. One detail that surprised me were these grab irons here on the side. I was expecting it to be just one long bar, but they're actually different segments. So now we're going to take a look at the Scale Trains Thrall Trinity 42 foot coil car. And this is owned by CSX Transportation, as you can see there. Lots of little details printed around, along with running boards across the side, just like the other coil car. And we can see a little bit of the bottom detail right there, along with some blue bearing caps on the wheels. Now, for those who are wondering what the bottom looks like, here you go. We got a lot of uh, air brake detailing, a lot of pipes going across the bottom half. If we take a look on the ends, we can see some CSX printing there, along with this brake wheel chain and the other side. Just pretty much everything except the brake wheel. And here's what it looks like with the shell on, and this is what it's supposed to look like when you're running it on the tracks. I do think though the removable shell is a pretty cool idea. Some more details we can come across is some stenciling on the trucks, along with some sticker and some writing here on the sides. We also have some more detailing here on the bottom, which you can see from the side. And here's a view of the other end. And this model includes two sheets of stickers, which you can apply to these coils. And they have this side down. So here are all my coils once they're stickered, and there's actually one that has no weight at all, so it kind of rolls around quite freely, but that is actually on purpose to comply with NMRA standards or something like that. Now before I put in the coils, here's what it looks like inside, they're using a wooden deck. And one thing you got to keep in mind is the order of the coils. That actually does matter. You can't just put it willy-nilly wherever you want to, or else it's not going to close properly all the way, which I learned from JLW2's video. He had some kind of a diagram. I don't know where that came from, but it was pretty helpful, and I wish it came with the box. As for the cover itself, it's pretty symmetrical looking. Just on the ends, this one is flat, while the other side, it has sort of like these notches, so you have to put it in a specific way. Now here are the coil cars side by side. We got exact reel and skill chains together. Now they're actually both owned and operated by CSX. I didn't just want to get one cool car by itself, so I decided to make it a pair.
And by the way, I was watching one of my older videos while I was rail fanning the CSX Hudson River. I actually saw this pair together, so I guess it is a common train rolling stock to have. Alright, so for my final thoughts, I think the exact real coil shield car is pretty cool. I really like the color and the design itself is pretty unique. I bought these two coil cars from the same place, trainlife.com, which is one of the only places to get exact rail. I don't know why, but they only sell them on their website or trainlife.com. It is my first exact rail model, so I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks like. The detailing is pretty spot on. It also got the scale train CSX coil car just to make it appear, so it's not just like one car. And I thought it would be cool to have a little comparison, which, you know, scale trains is pretty cool since they have the removable cover where you can put the coils inside although one thing that you have to do is put in the stickers manually by yourself I was eventually able to do it although it's probably not as perfect as it could be in a factory it is pretty well detailed as well and you know I can have two coil cars in my collection now that can run together CSX gang all the way but yeah that's pretty much it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed if you do remember to hit that like button down below subscribe if you had already and I'll see you guys in the next one bye